Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are here today in Felixstowe. The last time I was here, it was sunny and blue sky, which it kind of is today. The difference is there's snow. So we're gonna have a walk around in the snow. There's a little bit of snow falling. I know there's some big dark clouds over the North Sea actually. We're gonna check out the, uh, the port of Felixstowe to see what that looks like, the old part of Felixstowe as well. Let's do Felixstowe in the snow. I can slide all the way down. It's okay. So we're just outside of uh, of Manning's Amusements and the fountain, which uh, looks pretty frozen. In fact, this is probably one of the few times I haven't seen the fountain on, actually. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's completely rock solid. Um, they've been doing a lot of work here in Felixstowe. This used to be, obviously, Billy Butlin's. It was a big amusement park. Um, now they have kind of like a market in here, but um, they're doing some work. So I don't know actually what they're doing, but it um, already looks very different to when the last time I was here. A few shops here. Look at this, look. There's a little snowman out here. The Waffle Shack, that looks good. <laughs> a little snowman. Um, as a kid, I used to love coming here actually and um, going on the rides all day. It's completely changed now. They did like a music festival here last year, I think it was, or the year before, and they held it in a big marquee there. And obviously now it's used as a, as a shop. But yeah, look how different this looks in the snow. As a kid, I used to love going in there. It was so much fun. There was a ball pit, and um, this was what I used to call the crazy house. And they had some um, some ro different rooms with different things inside. There was also like moving staircases and a big uh, fireman's pole, and then a big death slide into what used to be the uh, the large ball pool there. But um, now it's used as um, as a marketplace, really. So yeah, a lot of snow has uh, fallen over the last couple of days in Felix. So they had some snow last night, actually. A lot has changed on this seafront over the years. A little bit more investment, which is good to see. I don't know if anyone remembers what used to be outside here. This, this used to be like um, fish and chip shop, pretty much what it is now. Um, but it was kind of like with tropical kind of chairs and tables and those kind of tropical umbrellas that you see abroad made out of um, straw. Don't you just love that sound of walking in snow? Crunchy underfoot. Right, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll walk over along the prom, down towards the pier and uh, briefly up into the town as well. You can see a lot of the side streets here still 
covered with snow. Let's uh, just step over the step over the floodgate. <sighs> Seafront gardens actually look pretty under the snow. You can see that big cloud over there. Look at that. More snow showers are expected actually today. So if you want to see what Felixstowe looks like in the summer, don't forget to check out my video in the top right hand corner. But make sure you watch the rest of this video before you do check it out. That used to be the old family amusements, um, now known as Fantasia, and all looking white as well, and quite nice. There used to be a, a pool place up there, the rather famous Regal restaurant, which is now a fish and chip shop. I tell you what, I've always liked these plants here in, I forgot what they're called, yucca plant, are they called yucca plants? My wife calls them palm trees, but they're not, aren't they? Um, I know they had a fire a few weeks ago here. One of these, I don't know, yeah, it is this one. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at it. Which is a shame, because these have been here for years, you know? And then um, someone decides it's a good idea to try and burn it down. Let's hope they restore it, but um, actually, to be honest, I think they should be able to restore that okay. It doesn't look too bad. Now, is there snow on the beach in Felix though? That is the question, let's have a look. And the answer is, no. <laughs> snow here, no snow on the beach. You can see just how much uh, snow has built up here. Look, this, these are the floodgates. And um, pretty much I can just literally walk over the wall with uh, no problems. Interesting view, you might be thinking, how on earth am I doing this? I shouldn't be, <laughs> shouldn't be doing it, I'm walking on the wall because um, it's a great shot. I can't, if I'm down there, I can't actually see the, uh, the pier and the sea. So I thought this would be uh, a good shot um, as we walk down the seafront. Thankfully, it's a lot calmer. At least the wind is not so strong today. So the old Marlborough Hotel is still boarded up. I don't know if this has been sold yet and uh, what work is gonna be happening here. If you do know what's gonna be happening to this, uh, this piece of history in Felixstowe, let us know in the comments. It would be great to see it in its former glory again. train tracks buried there, look in the snow. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? So if you want to know how cold it is today, this looks like something from a movie or maybe something that someone's put up, but um, look at those icicles. They're pretty spectacular. They don't look real. It's like the stuff that you buy, there's plastic in the shops. The snow always looks so much better when the sun comes out, doesn't it? So there's kind of nothing here, really, apart from um, some little workout apparatus. Here used to be some go-karts and some bumper boats. Now it's, uh, it's just a car park. See, and you can build a snowman pretty much anywhere, even in a car park. So yeah, hard to believe um, about 20 years ago, up here, and you can still kind of see the semi-ring where um, the bumper boat lake used to be, and these motorized bumper boats that used to be a lot of fun. In fact, it's weird, it's almost like it's frozen over right now. 
but no, all filled in, and um, this is just a car park, although you wouldn't believe it right now. Is this a car park? There's grass under it, I'm not quite sure. I think we can all agree, the best thing about the snow is building snowmen, and I've just come across this um, epic snowman, or it once was an epic snowman, but uh, someone's kicked it in a little bit, but um, even with the old-fashioned bits of tree for arms and a carrot for a nose. Look, look at this. <laughs> Brilliant. They've even found bits of coal for the eyes. I hope that's coal and not something else. That is what a snowman should be. He's even got a quiff. Brilliant. So we're walking up here towards the, the pier. I'm just checking out the, uh, the snowfall on these trees. Look at that. My wife thinks I'm a little bit of a baby, but the, the kid in us all loves to see the snow because it's not very often we get uh, big, deep snow. I mean, look at there just coming off the roof. Here in the UK, does it? Doesn't happen very often. See more of the icicles over there, look. Let's go down these steps and up towards the pier. There is no snow on the beach, which is a little bit of a shame actually, because uh, there's loads, I think it's because of the wind really. The wind was so strong and obviously it's brought all the snow into little secluded places like this and it's been protected by the wall. So it hasn't really blown away, but um, as we'll see up here, no snow on the beach on this part of Felixstowe. As you can see, zero. A little bit on the prom, but uh, there's none on the beach. So again, this was put up a few years ago. Felixstowe Pier. I know that um, some people in the comments actually from the last Felix Stowe video I did hadn't seen the new pier. But yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Obviously closed at the moment. If you've never been to Felix Stowe before and you thought it was just, you know, um, a port, which it is, and it's a pretty big port. There are so many hidden gems to Felixstowe. You can check out the video that I did in summer. And there's the old part of Felixstowe, which is what we're gonna go to in just a moment. Um, you can actually walk up there. I'm not gonna do that today because um, it's a little bit cold. They've obviously closed the road off here for good reason, because people are using it as uh, a sledging run. <laughs> But probably because um, your car would never get up there. If the shops were open selling sledges right now, they would definitely put the prices up. You can imagine, can't you? So just walking up here towards the spa pavilion. Pretty little beach huts actually in the sun, look really nice, don't they? That one's called Ellie, number two. Beach huts in the snow, always look so good, don't they? So yeah, if you've uh, got a good pair of legs, you can actually walk all the way down towards the old Felixstowe from here. So the seafront garden's up here, looking pretty spectacular in the snow, very much like a picture postcard. And I wanna show you this fountain that is completely froze up, but is still running and you can see the ice on it. Doesn't it look beautiful up here? Just look at this, this is crazy. This is how cold it is today. It actually doesn't feel too cold, um, but this has been completely and utterly froze, solid, but the water's still running through it. Look how pretty that looks. Look at the ice on there. That 
is crazy. So gorgeous. walk up here because this looks very pretty. Do you know what? It's really weird. It doesn't actually feel that cold. Maybe because the uh, the sun's out. This is really pretty up here with all the snow. And I'll try not to uh, slip over. Great view there. Let's have a walk up here. God, the sun feels warm. It's crazy. You see the old photos that someone's put here, actually, from the Felix Stowe Society and the town council of the Victorian seaside gardens, as they used to be. In fact, look, you can see the old Felix Stowe Pier there as well. What a lovely place to come and have a seat. Look how beautiful this is today. So let's take a walk up into the town through the uh, seafront gardens. Love these lights. Is it me or is the sky like extra blue today? I don't know whether it's the cold air that makes it look even bluer than normal. I know it's a silly thing to say. Quite the workout. Who said East Anglia was flat? That's a good shot. Over there towards the pier, and you can see the cranes just over there of the Port of Felix, though. So I've already walked literally from just over there near where Manning's Amusements is. Well, it's definitely worth a walk up here because the view you get is pretty spectacular. Sounds like I'm walking on ice. A lot of people have been using this for sledging um, and I'm attempting to walk down here. Yeah, I can slide all the way down. It's okay. Someone there is taking the more precautious route. <laughs> Can't stop myself now. So to get to the old Felix Day, you actually have to drive through a golf course, which today looks really beautiful in the snow. No one's playing golf though. So a very popular place to go in the summer. It's one of my favorite pubs actually here on the Suffolk coast. It's the Ferry Boat Inn. Doesn't that look beautiful? As the sun's going down here in Felixstowe. It's quite deep snow here actually. And what I love about this pub, um, it's so old fashioned They've even got a telephone box just out here as well. It's 
So one of my favourite pubs here, the Ferry Boat Inn, um, just at the old part of Felixstowe, which is a really lovely place to come, um, especially in the snow. Bit of a trek to get here, obviously. You have to drive through that golf course, which I was talking about. But when you do get here, um, you can cross over um, the bay here, the River Deben, to go across to see a very special building which you can see here, which used to be a school, used to be a radar station. So we're just walking up to where you can go crabbing and you can go on the jetty here and uh, catch some crabs. <laughs> and there is a calf just here, that's the ferry calf, to go and get yourself a bite to eat or some, uh, some seafood. I'm not wearing boots today, so I've got snow all in my socks. Some very unique buildings. There's another one going up here. This has been flooded before as well, especially uh, the storm surge of 2013. It, uh, it was actually underwater. Certainly getting a lot colder now as the sun's starting to go down. Some uh, amazing fresh seafood in here. And um, a lot of people go crabbing just on this jetty. And this is where you can get that boat um, to go over to the other side. Let's have a walk on here and not try and um, break our necks at the same time. Never seen snow on here before. So you can get the ferry over towards Bordsey. And I don't think they allow you to go crabbing anymore. No, when I was a kid, you could um, you could go crabbing on this jetty, but you can't anymore. I think there's some areas over there. But yeah, literally, this riverbed is crawling with crabs. So that's Bordsey over there, just swinging around, seeing all the boats just moored up. There are so many boats here, especially around this corner. Very dramatic with the snow in the background. Wonder what it's like to just live over there. As I walk just around here, you can walk along this coastal path all the way to Felixstowe. You can rent that chalet, look at that. That's nice to stay in the summer. So yeah, from here, we can walk all the way along the coastal path. Can I get up here? Is that deep? No, it's not. I don't know how. I'm probably gonna slide going up there, hang on. That's a big deck chair. Yeah, we'll just go up this bit. Oof. Look how still the water is today. Few people out enjoying this uh, snow and the late afternoon sunshine. It's very peaceful. So yeah, definitely worth coming to the old part of Felix. So like I said, I'm not gonna do it today because I'm frozen, but you can walk all the way along. It actually goes around the corner um, towards Felix though, but a beautiful part of the Suffolk coast to come down to. It is so peaceful here. I'm gonna stay quiet just for a moment so you can enjoy the walk. Apart from that dog. It truly is beautiful, the Suffolk coast, and especially when it snows, it makes it look even better. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it give it a share and if you haven't already and you want to see more of my content don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time